The next thing I'm going to help you set up is your text and email alerts. If you click menu and click the settings wheel and then click the alert management, Micare is going to let you know that you have unsaved changes, so you can't go ahead and save those. And then it'll pull up a list of the different notifications that you can set up. So there's a lot of different alerts that you can set up in here. I'll kind of go through each one of these as we go. The candidate submission alert will send you an alert every time a new candidate arrives in your inbox. So that's a really good one to set up. If you're receiving too many throughout the day and it's just pinging you and it's a bit too much, what I like to do is a daily summary email. This will send you a daily summary of all of the applications you've received each day. You can set that up at a specific time as well. Um, mine usually come in in the morning. Another one that I highly recommend you set up is the candidate message alert. This will send you an alert anytime a candidate sends a new message. So if uh, they have already went through their candidate questionnaire with Olivia and they randomly set out a new message an hour later, it will alert you of that so that you can stop in and take a look at what that candidate is. The scheduling alert is another good one to set up. This one's gonna let you know if there is a change in a candidate's schedule, if they reschedule an interview or cancel their interview. That's a very good one as well. This one's also kind of fun. Uh, I have this set up with a couple specific keywords. Um, I like to put this in just in case a candidate starts talking about something I'm specifically interested in. Maybe they bring up the word scheduling or flexible scheduling and you want to hop in there and talk specifically about one of our benefits or something like that. That is a really good way to do that. The candidate rating alert specifically sends you a notification when a candidate gives us a low rating. So if a candidate has specifically went through their um, capture sequence with Olivia and then given us a low rating, it will alert you and let you know that they had an issue so that you can reach out to that individual directly. Another one that's really good is the request alerts. So this is triggered by a certain thing. Uh, if there is an application issue, if there's an onboarding issue, you can set this up to send you an alert specifically to let you know that a candidate's having, having an issue. Another one that I have set up is a note alert. This will send an alert to me, for example, if anybody uses my name. Uh, so if somebody mentions Brianna in the middle of a conversation between a candidate and a crew member or a manager, I will get a notification of that and then I will know and be able to hop in and answer whatever question you might have. And then you can set up here at the bottom uh, push notification hours. So you can uh, set this up specifically so that um, you don't receive notifications at times that you are not working. This is really, really nice so that you don't receive a notification in the middle of the night. I know all of these look a little bit daunting, but I will tell you, I have a lot of these set up for myself and I don't receive notifications too often. The only one that really uh, kind of triggers me is this candidate submission alert. I have this set up currently. I think I'm going to turn it off because uh, with all 15 stores, I get a ping on my phone about once every hour of a new application being submitted. Uh, in that case, I will just get my daily summary report and uh, go from there. And I really like that report specifically because really big right at the top, it tells you exactly how many applicants we received for the day. So I think that's really cool. 